Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to put up a quick and dirty brand page for Amazon. As all of you guys probably are aware, in order to get brand registered on Amazon, you do need your own website. And what I've found is like a lot of people are signing up for more expensive sites like Shopify, which costs $29.99 a month just to put up a brand page, which is overkill if you don't actually intend to sell on that website and you only intend to sell on Amazon. So today I'm going to show you how to put up a quick and dirty brand page that will only cost you $3 a month as opposed to if you went to a more expensive solution like Shopify. So I'm going to start this tutorial on my blog at mywifequitterjob.com and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install a shopping cart on Bluehost. Okay, and so I want you to scroll all the way down and I want you to click on this link. And right now it only costs $2.95 a month uh, to sign up for Bluehost. And what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and sign up. Sign up for the cheapest plan possible, which is the basic plan. Uh, type in the domain for your online store, whatever it might be. For the purposes of today's example, I'm going to use myquickonlinestore.com. I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to fill out all the necessary information just to get started. So Steve Chu. And then my email address. my number here and in terms of selecting which options that you want with your Bluehost account I am going to just uncheck all of this stuff okay because you don't need any of it and it's just going to add to the total now the cheapest plan is going to be if you sign up for the 36 month price but if you only want to try this out for a year, it's going to cost you $4.45 as of right now. But once again, if you plan on doing this in the long term, which I suggest that you do, go ahead and choose the 36-month price because it's going to be significantly cheaper. So basically for $100, bucks, you will get three years worth of web hosting. Punch in your credit card, hit submit, and you'll have created a Bluehost account. And once you create your Bluehost account, you'll get a username and password. And the next step is to go to bluehost.com slash cpanel and log in with your new credentials. So my username is myquicko and I'm just going to log in here real quick. Okay and this is my control panel and once again I'm going to show you how to install and configure OpenCart as your Amazon brand page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one click installs I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select open cart. And I'm going to hit install. And I'm going to install open cart on my root directory. So I'm going to hit check domain. Show advanced options. And then I'm going to just make up an admin password. For the purposes of the example, I'm just going to use online store123 and my email address. And click install now. And what it's doing right now is Bluehost is installing OpenCart on my domain, which in this case is myquickonlinestore.com. So I'm just going to give this a couple minutes and then I'm going to go to that site. Okay, my install is complete. And now I can go over to my domain, which was myquickonlinestore.com for this example. And you'll see that there's going to be a shopping cart right there. Okay, now this is just the base shopping cart and it's pre-populated with uh, sample products and you're going to want to populate those with your own and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So to get into the admin page for your store, you want to go to your domain. Once again, this is myquickonlinestore.com for this example and slash admin. You're going to want to log in with the credentials that you used when you created your OpenCart account. Okay, so this is what the back end of OpenCart looks like. And we're going to do a couple of things to customize OpenCart so that it looks like your own branded web page. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to update the store logo. And the way you do that is you go under Settings, click on Edit here. 
And then you're going to want to fill in all of your store information. So I'm just going to use Bumblebee Linens. Make sure you fill out your address. It's important. Your email address and your phone number. Just going to click save so I don't lose anything here. Okay, the country is going to be, in this case, the United States. The region is going to be California. Currency US dollar. Length class inch. Weight class pound. Okay. And then under the image, I'm going to update a new store logo instead of the open cart, the default, which is, this is what the default looks like. So we're going to replace our logo and put it here. So I'm going to go ahead and just upload my logo that I prepared earlier. Okay, I'm going to select that, hit save, and lo and behold, the logo has been uploaded here. Okay, so the next step is to delete all of these sample products that have that are just sample products that have been uploaded by default to OpenCart because you want to be putting in your own products and your own images here. So the way you do that is you go under... So in the interest of time, I'm not going to eliminate all the products. I'm going to eliminate all the categories except for one, and then I'm going to add my own category, which is handkerchiefs here. Okay, and so I'm just going to blow away all of these. And I'm just going to go ahead and edit one of these categories. So instead of cameras, I'm going to make it handkerchiefs because that's what I sell. This is where I sell handkerchiefs. Of course, you should be populating your categories with the appropriate descriptions. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to populate these real quick and dirty here. Click OK. And all of a sudden, I have a handkerchiefs category in the top level menu bar. Okay, and so the next step is we want to change this hero image here too to an image that's more appropriate for our brand. Okay, and the way you do that is you go under banners, homepage slideshow, and I'm just going to go ahead and blow away this one and I'm going to add my own banner, which is called handkerchiefs. And I'm going to upload a brand new image there for this. Okay, and so I already prepared one ahead of time. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit save. And all of a sudden, it's starting to look like my site, bumblebeelinens.com, because I copied the same hero image. Now, you notice there's a little bit of white space here and a little bit of white space here. Uh, the way you change the dimensions of this, and it, again, this is going to depend on the size of your image. This particular image is 1150 by 450. And so to remove those ugly white bars, I'm going to go under Extensions, Modules, Slideshow, Homepage. I'm going to just change it to the dimensions of my image here. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to hit refresh on the site, and lo and behold, the banner now matches the width of the site. Okay, and so the remaining things that you want to do is you're going to probably want to eliminate this carousel because it doesn't do anything. And the way you eliminate the carousel is you go under modules, carousel homepage, and you just click on this garbage can button. Okay, and so that should eliminate the carousel because we don't need it anymore. Let's see if that happened. Yeah, so the carousel is now gone. And what you want to do then is you want to populate the products with your own products that you're selling in your online store. And the way that you do that is you just go over to products and you just add the appropriate products to your store. Okay, I'm not going to do that in the interest of time. One other thing that you also have to take care of is you have to take care of filling out all the information down here. Okay, and this is really easy to do. So in the back end, once again, you want to go under this tab under information and you want to fill out all of this stuff and again 
you don't have to be totally original. Like you're about us, you should obviously write yourself, but like the delivery information and the privacy policy and the terms and conditions, you can simply take that from an existing site. But basically, all you need to do is in your about us, you click on this edit, and there's a box here. So this is my about us page. Fill in all the stuff in your about us page, click save. Click save. Okay, and if you hit refresh here again, click on the About Us page, it'll contain all the stuff that you entered in there. Okay, and so what you wanna do is you wanna populate the delivery information, the privacy policy, and the terms and conditions. And after that, you're pretty much done. And you'll notice that if you go on this site, it is actually a fully functional site. You can add something to the cart, and you can even check out and by default, the only payment that you're gonna, your store can accept right now is payment on delivery. But that's fine because those Amazon guys, they're just going to go look on your brand web page, make sure all the necessary pages are filled out, like the About Us, delivery information, privacy policy, terms and conditions, the Contact Us page, your return policy, and all that stuff. They're just going to look at those things. They're going to look at the image. They're going to see that your site is professional and that it's a fully functional shopping cart. And you should get approved for brand registry. And you'll see, look, all that just took us like 10 minutes to do. And so, and you're also only paying $3 a month, which is a lot cheaper than signing up for a full-blown shopping cart for the purposes of Amazon brand registry. Okay, and so I hope you guys found this useful. As you can see here, it's, it's pretty easy and it's quick and dirty. And getting registered in the Amazon brand registry is very important. So I highly advise that everyone do it. Thanks.